Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 Quest. This is another Transformers Legacy Evolution video, and that is going to be Horse Core Class Grimlock. So, there he is. Dino mode there. Robot mode with his blaster. Ten steps. Number three of six of Volcanicus. And the artwork there. So yeah, let's get him open and check him out. And here we have Grimlock out of his packaging. And he's okay. <laughs> Uh, not too hateful considering this is a core class. There was certain things that needed to be sacrificed, of course, for him being a core class figure. And of course, you know, being a limb of a combiner at this size. But, uh, I mean, for the most part, he, he looks alright. So you got gold paint, of course, on the claws for dino mode, as well as the chest. Some red hairs, he's just missing some of the blue and green on there. Got really nice glossy black paint for the head as well as the nice shiny blue for the visor. Got the same black on the fist there which are a little large on him. Like he almost looks like he's wearing like boxing gloves and like hockey pads. Just I think of that scene from The Dark Knight. <laughs> I, I'm not going to attempt a, a Batman quote from that but and of course you get the silver and gold here, but we'll get into that in Dino Mode. Head is on a swivel, much like all the other Core Class figures. Shoulders on a ball joint. He does have a swivel here, but that's more for transformation. And you do get a butterfly joint, again, more from combination. You do get a waist swivel. You get hips on a ball joint, and you get knees, no elbows. So, unfortunately, much like the Combiner Wars Scrapper, you do not get elbows with this leg. So, that pretty much does it for Robot Mode. He does come with his double-barreled blaster, which you can plug in right there. And then it is also Blast Effect compatible, so we'll go ahead and put those right into there. So you can have that going on. Just take those off, and it does have a little bit of silver paint right on the top side here. Or I guess this whole surface, except for the peg, is painted silver. So you got that. And compare him with some of the other Dinobots. Now I did, I am recording this after getting, well, I guess we'll, well, we'll wait to do those two later. But here he is with these two. So, eh, not terrible. I mean, I, I still think maybe Slug or Slag is the strongest of the three. Just because he's not so sacrificed with his proportions. I don't know why I took Grimlock away. So, to get him into Dino Mode, it is fairly simple. I mean, legs, you just pretty much straighten those out. Bring this whole section up. That will close up around his head. Those will plug in together. Then you just slot the dino legs like that. Bring this up and flip that up and around. Bring these up. Then there are two spots there that this will plug into to form his tail. And there we have Grimlock in T-Rex mode. So let me get the others two. So here we have Slag or Slug and Sludge. So, I mean, for what they are, like little $10, 10 $11 figures, they're not terrible. Like, you're, you're definitely not going to get third-party, let's say, New Age or even Dr. Wu quality out of these. So don't set your expectations too high on these. I mean, they're just simple little figures. Now, go into combined mode. Just go ahead and remove the tail. And I think we just keep, yeah, keep that up like that. Bring these around. So tab into there. 
same thing on this side. Straighten that out, and that will tab together. Split that. Bring this whole section down. Then you want this right side, your left, or you know, your left looking at this up like this. There is a tab there and a slot right there in the back of his neck. So just like that. I kind of put that up. So there is the leg mode. You take the weapon here, I'll plug it in facing down to kind of form a heel. Then let me get the others, so we'll get this into combined mode. All right, and here we've got the torso of Volcanicus. And yeah, it's not turning out great so far. Uh, very short and stumpy leg. I mean, you get a good 90 out of the knee. And with it being a five millimeter peg, you do get knee swivel. I guess you do have thigh swivel up here. Got that. Now, one thing I did notice, and I haven't, no, I haven't been watching any of the reviews, so I don't know if anyone else has pointed it out, but there's this weird eye-shaped slot that I don't think anything else tabs into, along with these two, which, you know, the tail tabs into. So I think if we do get, or if slash when we get this as Dino King, there's going to be a new foot piece that plugs into there to make this a better looking foot for the combined mode. Now, I'm not certain how for sure that is but would be nice and i could kind of see hasbro doing that just waiting for the you know the release that this is intended for to do it like i mean yeah they have the dinobots in mind but this is more of an afterthought like doing the dinobots like this i, I think their main thing is to do dino king out of this design because the transformation and orient you know location of these characters is a lot like that of Dino King, so just something to keep an eye out for. So if there is something in the future, you know, that will plug into there because it looks like something's going to tab in there. It's not like a regular waffle. Plus you've got these right here, so that could easily do these like pretty much five millimeter points right in there, just like with the dino mode so I highly suspect that is for a new portion of this character for dino king that will become a foot so yeah so get him off of there go back to robot mode I mean you just bring this up and around bring this up out of the way untab the tail bring these down to form the legs, split the arms, bring this whole section back and flip that peg back as well. Fold up the dino head or just leave it down however you prefer. Knees are dovetailed. So you just kind of slide them apart. There we go. And give him back his blaster. And there we have Grimlock back in robot mode. So, yeah, I mean, not bad. Um, I'm more interested in the inevitable Dino King or Monstructor, whichever one they decided to. I highly suspect it's Dino King. So, uh, other than that, I mean, not a bad little representation of Grimlock. It's a neat little core class if you want to fill out those. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Be sure to check out those links down in the description as well as my playlist. And I'll see you in the next video.